So bundle branch block produces, I am asking you initial delay, terminal delay, neither. So I told you in bundle branch block, the depolarization is delayed in the terminal portion of the QRS. So that's why it produces the terminal delay. And because the last vector is going through the muscle in the bundle branch block, where the initial portion of the depolarization is going through the muscle in WPW, so bundle branch block produces terminal delay. In right bundle branch block, septal activation is altered. So I am asking you whether this statement is true or false. So in right bundle branch block, normal septal activation is done by the left bundle from left to right. In right bundle branch block, the left bundle is not affected. So the left bundle continue to do its normal septal activation from left to right, resulting in a small R wave in V1 and V5, V6, so small Q wave. So right bundle branch block, septal activation is not altered. 